Dead ass. Oh man. <clears throat> Let me go with that glare. What's up, y'all? What's good? I'm about to cook. I just thought I'd have y'all join me. Look at this shit. Tag it the back. Yeah, I thought I'd have y'all join me for anybody that's uh, a Bailey Bow. Wanna watch me cook? <laughs> Trying to get it so y'all can see the shirt. This is me running. What's good, Kelly? What's up? What's good? I'm about to cook some motherfucking food. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Facts. Straight hungry. Hey, little motherfucker. There you go. Every time I turn this camera on, you in the kitchen. Eating up all the collard greens. So I hope y'all having a good night. Yeah. I'm about to cook. Hungry. <laughs> I'll be trying to, like, so what I noticed about me, even if I eat early in the day, because I thought I was like a one-time eater for, for mukbang, mukbang. I don't know how to pronounce it. But um, I thought I was like a one-time eater. Like the only way I could do a mukbang is if I was to eat only during the mukbang. But now I notice if I eat in the morning, I'm usually still hungry. <laughs> so it really don't matter. So it's like, I don't think, I don't know if there's a science behind it, but definitely will. Uh, Lisa, sister, sister, definitely gonna keep, keep pushing and keep grinding. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just cooking. Um, for those of y'all that's joining, thumbs up this video. It's just olive oil, no specific kind. Um, I don't know. You don't have to add oil. This pot sticks a little, but it's the biggest pain that I got. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna use this because this is all that's in there. I'm not the only one that keeps old oh, taco seasoning packs for just in case you're making taco. It's a little dark in here, right? I'm gonna go grab the light. Come downstairs. Okay, 
That's about it. All right, so yeah. Because don't want the raw meat on what I'm used to. Eat. <laughs> I was not playing. I didn't play that at all. I ain't doing nothing special to it. Special and adding like no extra peppers and onions and all that because I didn't get it. Just <laughs> be real, I gotta get it. There's only so much that the taco seasoning he says what are you making taco 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 tacos because i saw these and i got hungry <laughs> yeah i hope they big because i didn't even look at them man i hope they big because i didn't even look at them and then, now that i look at the box the box looks small i didn't even look at them i'm gonna have to go to the store boxes of tacos just randomly and all of a sudden when you want it it's not there all right so anyway of course the taco seasoning ain't gonna do nothing but the taco seasoning your own whatever it is type of vibe that you go with. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, mean, I just like my, um, you know, your, your salt and pepper. Well, I use seasoned salt and uh, pepper. You know, just whatever you want. You don't have to season the meat. You can just use the taco seasoning. But to me, if you season the meat and then use the taco seasoning, because when you drain the meat, a lot of the seasoning is going to run off anyway, but it's still going to give the meat, you know, its own, you know, flavor so that's why I do it but everybody else a little bit different
So yeah, that's just like a pre-seasoning. I did, I bought some fruit too. So, I got a fruit video. I ain't gonna tell you what kind of fruit it is. <laughs> Knock me off my feet. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, usually I like brown chuck. But lately, I haven't been seeing ground chuck in the, um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I got some fruit. Um, it's going to be a pretty, pretty, uh, um, y'all yeah, see the video. <laughs> I'm going to say what kind of fruit I got. I've been meaning to get a black. I really don't like that table. I mean, like a big long piece of wood or something to put across the table to put the moot bank. Because I really hate the look of that table. But I can't, um, I ain't thought of nothing to, you know, I got a book in my eye. I ain't thought of nothing to put there. As you can see, I like I like my meat to be very coarse, and it's easier to chew. That's if I don't do it, dog. That meat good and brown. No, I don't um, the whole goddamn half a pound. I just got just some random taco. Um, see, this is 25% less sodium, so I added my own 25% of sodium. <laughs> But nah, I didn't really notice that at first. I don't think it really matters. But either way, um, so yeah, one is for one pound. So I guess I'll use both of these for two pounds. Oh man, fuck. So yeah, I'll use two of these. That's two pounds and one is for one. I want to use some, you know what I want? Some um, chicken. Did y'all catch that video that I did with the um, 
don't know what it was. I can't even remember. I used some chicken. Did I make a video out of this? I don't think I made a video out of it. I think I made that for work. So I had, um, I had made, I had got some rotisserie. Um, everybody thought I, everybody would think I had a, a grill now. It's braces. That's why I chew like that. <laughs> I mean, y'all understand the struggle is real to me in this game right now because a lot of times I don't be saying nothing, but I be done like just got my teeth adjusted, like literally. And sometimes I can't, like, I be holding in slob trying to eat at the same time. Because, I mean, it don't hurt, it just be a lot of pressure. But a lot of times when I go, they have to clamp off the brackets and situate them so they'll move my teeth in the, you know, way it's supposed to move. So I be eating stuff that I ain't even supposed to eat. <laughs> and um, I'll be hungry. <laughs> I'll be hungry. That is what it comes down to. I'll be hungry and I just try to be careful. It's She did, um, like she threatened to end my treatment. And I'm just like, how you gonna end my treatment in the middle of the treatment? She's like, I will take your brackets off. She's, a, she's very strict or whatever. Uh, can't find what I'm looking for. And I know where I said. Don't you hear when you can't find what you're looking for, but it's in the refrigerator. It's in the refrigerator. Man. This work. This work. This work. This work. This work. This Say what? I don't know. I ain't really. I don't know. I dropped half the um, half the meat on the stove. I don't even know why I took my glasses. I'll be trying to look cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them on and look like a geeky geek. Appreciate y'all for joining the live. That was a good video. So everybody was good, was good, was good. So uh we say the road trip, the road trip, the road trip rant show. What's good, road trip rant show? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drain this meat. By the way. Simple things become difficult, like it just ain't be that hard. All right, so I'm just taking that seasoned ground beef out the skillet and draining all the nasty stuff off of it. I'm actually done with this skillet. A lot of people will argue, are you flavor in the skillet? Are you flavor in, in there? Yeah, it's partially true. But I really don't care. Because I just um, I don't know I just do it that way. 
A lot of people are like, your shoulder got a lot of dishes, but I have a dishwasher. <laughs> and I ain't washing no dishes. Well, I used to be a dishwasher, nothing against washing dishes for those out there that like to wash dishes instead of putting it in the dishwasher. I actually used to be a dishwasher. So I definitely have an appreciation for dishwashing. I don't think I've ever actually, um, I don't think I've ever actually worked in the kitchen, whether it was catering or a restaurant as far as starting out for the job. I don't think I ever started out as, as anything other than as you like, for some reason, for those of you out there that's ever worked in the kitchen, for some reason, when you start in the kitchen, you're always a dishwasher. I don't know why. It just is. Just is. What's this shit say? My auntie was telling me about um, something called taco. Uh, what did she say that she was? She said it was something called taco. What did she say that she was? I don't even remember, but she made it sound really good. So she said, well, maybe the way she described it, she described it like it was like a seven layer dip type of thing is what she described. You know, you got your your meat, your cheese, your lettuce, and uh, sour cream, guacamole, and, you know, what have you. But the way she described it, and I think I've heard of something like this before, she described it as almost a cold dip, but I think it's supposed to be hot. But I don't know, she might've ate it cold, I don't know. Either way, it's uh, Philly cheese, cream cheese, like the Philly cream cheese, and um, <coughs> my throat got dry. Philly cream cheese, and um you know your taco stuff you what was that you season your uh season your you season the philly cream cheese like i mean it sounds almost to me like a, a, a like a rotel dip kind of thing except hot is what it sounds like mm -hmm. <laughs> these ceilings are so high and it echoes on your yeah um, but yeah. It sounded really good the way she was describing it. It sounded really, really good. thirsty what does shit say brown i did that i always read the directions i don't know why i can i've done this a thousand times and i can guarantee you every time it may change something may change you never know some may change what does it say uh, three four cups of water So how much is how much is two, three, four cups of water? How much is two, three, four cups of water? Come on now, I'm a YouTuber, not a mathematician. So I'm just gonna put, you don't even got three, four cups on this month. It's got two thirds, why would they do that? That's dumb. Oh, two third cups of water. So how many is two, two, you know what? 
Was I supposed to put this in before I put the meat in? Or did, I don't think it matters. Either way. So I'll probably, um, I'll probably, I'll probably end up adding more water than that anyway, because I like juicy. I like, I don't know about y'all. I don't like no dry taco. I like, when I eat my tacos, I like juice just driven all down your face. I'm going to add more. And then I'm going to use this one. I don't see a date on it, but I'm pretty sure we bought the taco kit not too long ago. So, um, yeah. I was going to um, make sure you get it all done. I was gonna go live on the uh, on the Facebook portal, like this little portal thing for Facebook. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is fancy kind. Oh, we real fancy. We got name brand taco uh, season. We real fancy right here. So, they're two different colors. I don't think that matters though, right? I'm pretty sure that's not, I'm sure that's not like a big deal. <laughs> I'm sure. Sure, I'm pretty sure. Where's my... Is it getting, um, is it getting cold where y'all are? Those of y'all out there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You can see it a little bit. That's really bothering me. It's really bothering me. It's going to bother me tonight. Uh, I wish the trash can was somewhere else. Oh my goodness, it's my phone. What are you talking about? What happened to the thing? Y'all remember? I ain't gonna even say nothing. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't. And we ain't, surprisingly, it just hit out of nowhere. Cause I was planning on 41, that's freezing. I don't know how I always end up with green drinks and the screen is green. So it always looked like I'm drinking something brown. Some blue raspberry Kool Aid. I that my shit. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit more water because I like it juicy. I Just a little, 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 just a little. Mm. And then, that, that's why I put it in there because I ain't have no lid, which I could have put some foil on top of it. And one time I tried to use plastic wrap and the stove almost caught on fire. Well, backstory. Which is 
gonna add this back to the collection in the junk drawer where it will always be. I always know where it is. difficult on camera, I don't understand. Potato chip, Doritos, Doritos. We call them Doritos. So what you think? You think I should sit them up right instead of laying them down? Touch when you're dealing with them, um, when you're dealing with them hard tacos, that'd be real delicate because we want them to come out whole, you know. So, it's gonna gently put it in the oven. Get my um, taco shells, please. Please. Don't want to um, scratch it. Set my timer. I don't have one of those. Don't want to scratch your stove. Just get you a soft bristle. Don't use them Brillo pads. They tear your stove up. No, they're gone. They went back home. Um, yeah, they went home Sunday. Um, use a completely dry towel instead of a wet towel after you're done because it'll keep it from uh, leaving watermarks on it. So that's a good, you know, good tip.
Yeah. Cleaning tutorial and the cooking uh, tutorial. You said what? <laughs> I mean, I, you know what? I probably would do that, actually. <laughs> I probably would. I probably would do that. You be full of Hawaiian punch before the food you get done. Y'all been slacking, like. Right? I don't know, some gotta give. I'm just lack of lack. Yeah. There you have it. That's a real eye for those. Let y'all see that. See that juicy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's what your ground meat's supposed to look like. Juicy. Juicy, look, look, look at that, 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 oh, oh, look at that, no dry, all juice, all juice, yes. So you're just gonna let that sat there. Burn the shell. Oh, the shells. <laughs> I ain't know what to Y'all say taco shell. I think y'all talking about some damn shells and cheese. I'm thinking about, mm, I wonder what this would taste like if I got some rotel dip and, um, and some some uh, pasta shells, like them giant pasta shells with some, um, put some of that rotel dip up in there, then bake it in the oven and sprinkle some cheese on top of that shit. <sighs> I ain't know what the fuck I thought about. tacos for those of y'all that just joined making tacos this is hawaiian punch yeah this is hawaiian punch <laughs> that's crazy yeah that's something um i need to
one time. The last video when I had made some tacos, I had used, I saw, I said I saw somebody use uh, Frank's. They was using regular uh, hot sauce on their tacos. On their tacos. So I tried tacos with regular hot sauce, with Louisiana hot sauce. It was good. It was it was a it had, it had a vinegary taste, but it was good. It was it was a different taste. It was good with regular hot sauce, but then I just buy the. Even excuse me, this tastes different. I buy the um, Taco Bell bottle. It, it's cheap, which I'm pretty sure I have some Taco Bell packets just laying around anyway. But, um, I think I'm gonna go get some. Flaming hot Doritos. This is and um, make some uh, make some uh, nachos. Nacho. You know what I really, 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 really want some Fritos, but they're so crunchy. They're so crunchy, but they take a long time to chew. Some Fritos, like some chili cheese Fritos. What y'all know about that? Some chili cheese. Oh, a chili cheese Frito burrito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye. See, see you. Uh, one of these days, I may do it tomorrow. One of these days, I went ahead and bought my own. Um, well, I did my roommate did. What is that for? Egg noodle pizza. Hmm. I never look at these recipes that are on here. Sweet noodle kugel. Eight ounce wide egg noodle. One half cup of dry, see, I don't, I don't like it already. One half cup of dry cranberry. Eight ounce block of cream cheese. One cup of cream cottage cheese, four large eggs, three four cups of sugar, one what the fuck? One fourth cup of butter, one teaspoon of grated lemon rind, one half teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of demerara, <laughs> demerara. <laughs> One tablespoon of Delmarara sugar and one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. It's called a sweet noodle kugel. And um, mm, I don't want this combine cream cheese, cottage cheese, and a bottle in the food process. What? Until smooth, add eggs at a time, one cup of sugar, three lemon rind. And vanilla and process until uniform. Scrape mixture into a prepared pan and sprinkle the damarera. That's what I guess. I guess that's why I know it. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just gonna make some. Um, I'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with some soda on the side. It's about that time because usually. Usually I make chicken noodle soup around this time of year. And you know, it's got its own healthy benefits and whatnot. And you know, it's like a uh it's like a it's like a home remedy for me because like straight facts, like I don't get sick all through the winter. Like no cold, nothing. Like all through the winter when I make my chicken noodle soup, same time every year, right for y'all remember it's a video out there. <laughs> you know what? I take that back because I got sick as a mug yet last year. Uh that. <laughs> Cause I was doing a video, I was like, Eesh. yeah. So I guess that ain't true. Hmm. I guess, you know, YouTube make you remember. Cause if I, if I hadn't had it on video, I wouldn't remember. That's the crazy part about it. Man. Taco straight done though. Like I'm just really killing time. Just kind of letting it, you know, kind of let it sit in its juices and and modulate. And marinate, and um, I'm hungry. I'm trying to think of uh, what I'm gonna drink. I just really got a soda or something.
Yeah, good job. Put that in there. Right between my eyeballs. I like the beer punch, I like the fruit punch, and the tropical punch. They're all pretty good. I like them all. Yeah, about that. We got a, um, what do you call that thing? It's like, um, I don't know what you call it. Either way, we got the water thing. When you take back the Kroger, it's only like 56 cents for like three gallons. So we have one of those. And um, yeah, I drink water all day, actually. Pretty good amount of water. Uh, Trust me, how I'm going to do this. I really feel like I can eat 10 of these bitches. Only gonna eat six. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It'll be trip, trip, tripping, tea ripping. I don't know. I miss the whole, the whole flow and the whole live chats. <laughs> I got bars though, like facts. Like I really got bars. So we're gonna let that meat modulate and marinate. Real good and proper. And uh, what I'm looking for? What you looking for? What you looking for? Hey. Damn, I ain't got no, uh, you know what I ain't got? I ain't got no cheese. Dog. See, the thing about it is, Sam's, I don't know if I've ever seen in a grocery store, even in the grocery store, even at Walmart, the melted cheese, which I could make my own. Who has time for that? But they sell it in a can, but it's such a huge can. Like, if I was to eat that cheese, oh yeah, I'm, I'm 29. Um, if I was to eat that cheese, I probably wouldn't shit for five weeks. <laughs> Cause it is a lot of cheese. I'm pretty sure once you open, you gotta use it. Well, it's the only reason why I didn't do that. Rico, Ricardo, Ricardo. This is ricotta. I said Ricardo cheese. Ricotta cheese. I like. Um, I like it somewhat. I know some. Um, some people put ricotta in there, if, that, if that's the same cheese you're talking about. Some people put ricotta in their um, lasagna. I can do light ricotta. I like the, I just like the cheese and the noodles and the meat. I'm making some lasagna soon, actually.
Yeah. Mmm. That's it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go set up my um, studio. Um, how do I learn to cook? Um, it's kind of a long story. I kind of shortly, briefly told the story in one of my Moot Bank videos. But when I was younger, my mom, she had... Hold on, hold on. You two don't want me to be great. Either way, um, yeah, the way I learned to cook, um, when I was younger, my mom had lupus and she had arthritis and a few other things. And either way, sometimes she couldn't use her hands because her muscles like wouldn't move and wouldn't work. But from the times that she could use her hands, I would watch her cook. And because I knew it would be days like be, me and my brother and my sister would be hungry, <laughs> but she can't cook, like she couldn't use her hands. So um, eventually I watched what she do. And on the days where she couldn't cook, I cook. <laughs> and so yeah, that's how I learned how to cook. <laughs> And then, you know, watching my grandma and other people too, but that's really mostly how I learned how to cook. But yeah, so I'm gonna go set up studio so I can eat this food before it get cold. And I really appreciate y'all for jumping in and joining the live. All the love, all the love, much love, much love back to you, back to you. Yeah, so I'm wearing my hat in the video because, okay, I'm gonna do my waves tonight. Okay, peace. Appreciate y'all. Thanks. Hold on, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till they get to one whole hour and then I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna the video will be out in the morning. I'm actually gonna edit this video tonight and it'll be out in the morning. So y'all will be able to see that video in the morning. Instead of Taco Tuesdays, it'll be Taco Thursdays. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm gonna jump off here. Peace. Let's just stay.